Do you ever realize that what happened to Louisville and Rick Pitino, the basketball coach, being fired in shame after several scandals involving him, this time with an assistant coach, giving $50,000 to a recruit from shoe money. Patino says he knew nothing about it. Patino also had two other scandals. They finally said, no, you can't say, th say that a third time. I knew nothing about it. But you know what? The good thing is, having gone to the basketball dinner uh, a few days ago for Wisconsin and knowing Greg Gard, who's pure as the driven snow, a wholesome guy from Cobb, Wisconsin. He's as pure as a Cobb ear of corn. And hearing the Wisconsin kids talk on the podium and one of them at our table, Dimitri Trice, a very nice young man, I said to him, boy, you have good kids. A lot of teams would love to have good kids like this. He just nodded. We'd have to worry about that at Wisconsin, the scandals, the cash. I mean, and they did manage to go to the Final Four, the final game, Final Four two years in a row, and they beat Villanova last year. Wisconsin's doing very well in basketball, thank you very much, and football too. I think of Paul Christ, I think of Wholesome. He looks like Wisconsin. He almost looks like a gallon of milk. We like that. We don't want flashy, cheating coaches. We don't want scandal. We don't want NCAA investigators. The biggest infraction I can remember with football, correct me if I'm wrong, was the shoebox scandal where they were giving discounts to players at a discount store because of a very strong Badger booster. I wouldn't put a lot of weight on that one. But Wisconsin has those standards. They have academic standards better than other schools, which we like, the Big Ten does. But I think that's important. And it's nice to know that what happened in Louisville, what happens to other schools with infractions, violations, or fake paper classes in North Carolina, where they just make them up and nothing happens to them, by the way, which is an outrage. But that stuff doesn't happen here. We should be proud of that. So whether Wisconsin goes to the playoffs or the, the, the national playoff or whatever the case, we're going to be competitive against any team the Badgers play, which is important. You can't say that at Indiana. You can't say that at Minnesota. Minnesota hasn't been to the Rose Bowls in 61. You can say that here, but you can also say that Wisconsin does things by the rules and you're not going to read about a Louisville scandal in Madison. And those are my two cents. My two minutes are brought to you by Edge Construction and Capital Consultants Bill McCoshin, a lobbyist who worked for Tommy, who knows how to get things done downtown. We can argue about this and more on The Mitch Hank Show on MadisonTalks.com or Facebook Live.